Hi guys, and welcome to my Liquid Chrome Nails YouTube channel. This is my first video, hopefully won't be the last. Um, I want to share with you a few things today. Part of what I want to do is uh, products, products that I've been using lately that I really liked, um, so-called accessories that I've been using lately that I really liked, wipes, gloves, that sort of thing. Uh, a few things about safety that are prevalent right now. Um, I also want to talk about why I want to do these videos. When I first started doing nails 16 years ago, there was no YouTube available for me. Um, there was no Facebook available to me, the Canadian Nail Tech Connection, those wonderful pages that we're all gaining information from every day. And I really feel like I've learned a lot of troubleshooting over the past decade or so. And I'd like to be able to share that with people as much as I can. Uh, sometimes when I watch other girls' videos, I have aha moments. I'm able to find products that I really adore. Uh, I'm able to order from other distributors that I didn't know even existed before I started watching YouTube videos. So I'd really like to be able to share that. Um, my videos are, are new. They're fresh. They're first. Uh, the lighting might be just a little bit off. Um, there might be a lot of ums and ahs because I am just starting this. I really think that the information that comes across is, is going to be the seller for these. So let's get started. Um, I had a few things in mind that I wanted to talk about today. One of them ended up being these. As I put them on, I thought, my gosh, we need to talk about these. These are safety glasses. I got these from Wildflowers, ordered them from Wildflowers, I believe out of the States. I will post the link in the description box. Um, when I started, we didn't wear gloves, we didn't wear masks, and we certainly didn't wear safety glasses. Uh, these are super cool. Um, they're fun, really like them, they're useful. Uh, if anyone of you have ever had dust in your eyes or had to dig dust out of your contacts, you know how important these are. Now more than ever, we really need to look after our health. Um, infections are very real. Scratches on the eye are very real. Don't want to sound like your mama, but you should get a pair. Um, there's many, many different ones that you can get. Uh, I have some super cool, great big ones as well. Very nice, very sleek, but they're fun and they're a conversation piece and they're something that we really should all be looking into. So check them out. The next thing I wanted to talk about is gloves. It took me a really long time to find a favorite pair of gloves that I really liked, uh, that were snug, that fit good, that were thin, but didn't rip quite so easily. I have found them. Um, again, I'll leave the, the link in the description box. These are from Cam West. Um, you can likely get them elsewhere, but I've ordered them from Ken West. Uh, the people at Ken West are wonderful, by the way. This is what they are. They are the extreme. There's a hundred in there, so 50 sets of nails, give or take. I just got this box today. I had run out, which I let myself run out. Um, these gloves are amazing. Love them. You may also have other gloves that you've used uh, and really liked. I would love to know what they are. Pretty awesome. They fit really well. I'm finding as far as product goes, I can still really feel. I always thought that I would never be able to wear a glove. I didn't wear them for a really long time. And I had started wearing them and then started shopping around for better gloves. I found these. These are amazing. So moving on to a few things. Um, wipes. I hadn't really found a wipe in years that I enjoyed. Um, either they said they were lint free and they were not, or they were too thick, too thin, too expensive, um, too hard to get a hold of. The Light Elegance Wipes. See this bag of them is almost gone. Love them. There's 360 in them. It says they're 100% lint free and they mean it. Uh, also, it says absorbent and strong. They are strong. I've yet to rip one. They're large. Um, I find that you can use them for multiple things during service. So, they're fairly big. 
I do love them. Please excuse the nails. I was doing a fill on myself today when I decided that I was finally going to go ahead and take the jump and do this video for you. Here in the Maritime Provinces, uh, we tend to buy from a couple of distributors. We don't tend to branch out any. I know that it's expensive to branch out. It's expensive to look at a new product and say, gee, I think I'll try that. Maybe that's a really great base coat, top coat, black, white. And you get it and you don't care for it. So then you've spent $20 and you've spent five or six dollars worth of shipping and you don't have the product that you expected it to be. I feel like with watching these videos over the past year or so, I have seen reviews that helped me pick out product that I wanted to buy. That I find is it's been a big money saver for me. I have come across some amazing products, some of which I'm gonna show you today and some of which I'm gonna wait and show you later. Again, if a brambling video isn't really what you're into, maybe this one isn't for you. I also want to talk about acrylic brushes. Acrylic brushes are really hard to find. Uh, good ones are really hard to find. Sometimes it doesn't matter how much money you spend on one, you still don't get something that you like. For years, I used the CND Pro Series Liquid and Powder, number eight. Nice brush, always did love it, truly did. Um, still do for smaller work, but I find now this is not big enough for what I like to pick up in a bead. I still got that one, I still use that one. But I picked up a Light Elegance number 10, again from Kim West. It's beautiful, first of all. I didn't expect it to be so pretty. It fits its side, its own cover. It's weighted well balanced well and I do like the size of it so loving that that's a new purchase I just got it today so this is kind of an unveiling video some of it another thing I just got today uh, that I used on my last client and then used on myself was this bit now I've already taken it out of the package so I just kind of put it back together it's a speedy removal Z bit it also is from Light Elegance. Um, these three things that I'm showing you so far have just happened to be from Light Elegance. Uh, I'm really loving their stuff. I hadn't ordered from them before. I hadn't ordered from Ken West before. I had just started doing that. I'm really enjoying what they have. I'm really enjoying the fact that they have new stuff, different stuff. So this is the bit. Again, I had already taken it out of the package, but that's what the packaging looks like. The lighting's a little weird there. And this is what the bit looks like. I like it. I really like it. Um, I found it was tapered just right so that you weren't getting a lot of burn. You weren't getting a lot of cuticle burn from it. Um, not that that's something that I think my clients usually experience, but it is something that I usually experience when I'm using it on myself because I'm looking around, I'm talking to somebody else and I'm trying to file my own nails. Anyhow, we all know how that goes. So that's my new drill bit. Again, Ken West, love it. Um, when we're talking about things that make your life a little easier, we all have those little tools that we just love to use. Some of them aren't even nail tech tools. Some of them are from other parts of the industry. Some of them are craft supplies. Um, I am not beyond using craft supplies, but these are these little guys. And these are the little wipes, wipes that the girls use that are doing eyelash extensions. They have a little Q-tip on the end of them. Initially, I bought them thinking they would be good for cleaning up polish around the cuticle. What I've decided is that they are better for helping me along with the nail art. If I'm trying to do a stripe with polish, gel polish, and it has a little blip in it, I can come along with this and clean that up. So I wanted to show you those. Again, this video is all over the map, but these are the things right on hand today that I really just wanted to do a little video on. 
If one single person can walk away from this with something that they can use, then that's great. Another thing I wanted to talk about today is the Fusion Paints White. It's the 101. It looks like this. I love it. I have struggled for years when my clients have said they wanted a white nail. I have done everything in my power to get them to choose a beige nail, an off-white nail, any other color nail than white. It would stain, it would shadow, uh, it wasn't pretty when it came back, it wasn't pretty halfway through. I have found this and I adore this product. You really want to use some more products by Fusion? Haven't yet, but I most certainly will and I will let you know when I get them what I think of them. But this is the white. It's hard to see, I'm sure, but you can understand that it is white. Shine, it um, cures to attack free shine. Really cool for nail art. It lines really well. It spots really well. Um, I've been using a base coat under it that has a nude color to it. Two coats of this, and you have a really nice, crisp, white, really solid white. Thought I'd share that with you. Um, I know my personal issue with getting a white has been just what I said, a lot of shadowing, a lot of staining. This I'm having really good luck with. I wanted to let you all know about that. So those are all the products that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I really hope that someone got something out of this. I, again, will try to post the links below. I'm new. Uh, not very good with this sort of thing, but if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to uh, get in touch on Facebook, uh, Liquid Chrome Nails, or Instagram, Liquid Chrome Nails. I'm around. See ya. Thanks for watching.